<laughs> so you have like a pile of cigarettes. <laughs> Dance? Actually, uh, it fits into, it goes in like this, and it fits in the oh, rest okay. of it like that. I forgot about this. So okay. it's sealed. So it's sealed. Duh, Dave. And the old What's back the matter? And the old Sorry, I am selling what? a travel trailer right now, and I've completely forgotten all its features. <laughs> Jeez, Dave, you can figure it out. You just magically fucking know. I'll patronize you for a while, see how it feels. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, but at least it's not. <laughs> Take 40 west. <laughs> We're on 440 <laughs> north. There is no 440 <laughs> north. <laughs> what? Oh, I heard a car come close up as we're wondering if it was Brandon. That would mean the party's over. <laughs> You have no idea how much. Oh well. How much? Oh, you well. do need to do a reading for William. Okay. And I was thinking, I was like, you know, <laughs> we'll just sit here in the park. They were really, really, really hesitant with him. They so. Who we threatened to eat your cards once? They were really hesitant with William. Yeah. I know he's a little sick of thing, but he can't be that bad. They do that. Didn't somebody threaten to eat your cards? Somebody threatened to do something to my cards. And little they neighborhood died. girls poked my cards when I said I wouldn't do that. And then they didn't stop on the name. Oh god, do you remember that ten year old kid that we found out was my first mate when I was a pirate? <laughs> Well, he gave, didn't he give me an alligator and a dress? Yeah, because he couldn't find a shark. Yep. And then he started messing with your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That ended a lot. Well, it's really awkward to have a ten-year-old remember you from a past life. You're not allowed to have any more, you know, ten-year-olds around. You say that like that's the most awkward life. thing you've had. <laughs> yes. I don't want... No. If he was 18, it might have been okay, but he was like, okay. 10. No, no, it's more awkward when you're in a romantic relationship with someone that remembers you as their father! <laughs> Sounds like an episode of Metaphysical Cherry Springer. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not sure I'd want to remember my past lives. That oh, makes so much fun. We were watching the Whip well, demonstration, see. me and Brandon, we were up there, and Brandon was like, that stuff makes me nervous. Why? Past life with a certain someone that could flesh, uh, flay the flesh off someone's face in the whip? Oh, yeah. Amber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was a little jumpy. See. Brandon doesn't like that. I don't know why. Maybe because I don't know. I'm not Oh, what do you think? when things happen in metaphysics with many lifetimes and more ironic situations arise. So here's one for you. Explain this reoccurring nightmare I had. Okay. I always drowned 42. in a ship. Okay. <laughs> what, 42? <laughs> There's your answer. It's your 40-second life. Rape your wit. Oh, my God. Some lady... Uh, she came up to the booth today and I, I was like, the oh, is there any group. questions you have? Even questions the... If you answer the questions of the universe, it's like, that's what I need. Well, the answer is 42. And she goes, oh. Well, I thought it was 32. Like, no, no, it's 42. 42. It's now, you just need to figure out the, now you just need to figure out the greatest question. Which is not, it's 9 times 6, obviously. Let's move along. So let's get back to your, your recurring nightmare. Okay. So you drown in a ship. Yep. I know it's a gray I'm ship. Good. Say what? It's a gray so ship. So it's metal or it's painted? Or it's just that nighttime would be metal. gray. That would be metal. Okay. I was thinking it would be fucking hilarious. Now the part I can't ship. figure out is with this reoccurring nightmare ah, in the firm oh, knowledge since I went to the ocean the first time when I was that tall that it and I had unfinished business why the fuck did I enlist in the Navy? You want to go back and attack the ocean? Like the <laughs> Roman Emperor. Because if you stayed on the goddamn hard deck like we told you you wouldn't have, been, you wouldn't have drowned you bastard. But he liked mopping the deck, so... 
That's like telling Brandon, don't push the shiny red button. No matter how many times you tell him, don't push the shiny red button. Even if there's not a shiny red button, he will break something in the process of trying to find it. <laughs> Same thing. Welcome to the family, pal. <laughs> I was hoping he'd say it was a pirate ship. Because it'd be funny uh, if he was on my ship, too. Uh, well and you problem. decided to feed him to one of the sharks named Beatrice because he wouldn't put a, sh a dress on her? Now, did I just bake your noodle or what? No? No. No. Poor guy. <laughs> it would have been really funny if he was a navigator on my pirate ship. <laughs> Three hour tour. <laughs> Three hour trip. <laughs> I was like, and this is why I fed you to the sharks. <laughs> Every time we got lost, you were so lucky there were no fucking sharks on land. <laughs> Your ass would be chum. <laughs> Bye. Awkward <laughs> turtle! There you go! He's learning! <laughs> Nothing to see here! <laughs> Rock the boat, don't ride the boat, baby! Test out the springs and the shocks. <laughs> oh. I'm good at testing springs. The shocks. And lots of other things. Moving along. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is a tasty bar. <laughs> <laughs> so, why are we recording? <laughs> I should be recording all of it. Oh. Now that he's going to press the button, we're going to No, no, no. We're just going to have fun because the last time we hit the play button, we found out, yeah, your vehicle's fucked. <laughs> so let's not record that. <laughs> no, it is. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> edit this all out. <laughs> Don't worry. It won't be there. Maybe instead of having like just an audio podcast, it'd be a video podcast. Like it'd be really funny if it was a, a video podcast with no audio. <laughs> Good job, Lisa. Yeah. Awesome. Maybe a silent movie. The weird music in the background. The tales. Drag time music. And then we're gonna have to just. You know what was rag time? You know what was music. kind of messed up about this weekend? Like at least three or four seconds. I actually kind of fit in there, and I'm and finding that kind of alarming. Alarming. Why? Why is it alarming that you said that? It is like third time in my fucking life. <laughs> I feel bad yeah. for the steampunk people. I like them. You know the one kid's a furry. Uh, Perfect. Delicate <laughs> <laughs> <Delicate> flower. <laughs> I'm a delicate flower <laughs> from another country. <laughs> I'm not another bear. The one kid's a furry. Wow. I'm very proud of Blake. I'm very proud See, of Blake. See, Ashley was all happy, and then I told her what AC was. <laughs> Fuck! But he was so adorable! He goes, hey, AC, please forgive me! It was so weird. The first time I went up to that booth, the kid went up to me, hey, if you want to buy something, if you, we, we can make it, and we'll have it tomorrow. So okay. Yeah. You are like, hi, <laughs> hi. A person. Well, I, when we were I, walking by the the last time, he's like, "Hey, you you want to come by? Cause we have stuff that we don't want to take home. You should come." And the big guy's like, "Hey, come on, Jack, make her a deal." And she's like, "Uh, I'm not, uh yeah, doing uh, what? Yeah. Uh, I'll it. trade you feathers." Okay. <laughs> she, I was waving a fly away, and she just started waving at her like, like, okay, I'll, I'll pretend I was waving at you. There was just a bug. <laughs> Hope Brandon comes back soon. My hammer needs to be finished. It's hammer time. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. Get those kids. Well, I mentioned about I mentioned about someone fitting in at a place, <laughs> and immediately spurns a topic of fail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. Hey, putting a CD with hammer time in the middle of a wall in the kitchen. That's pretty style. That's pretty win. I like that. With eh? firing. The other pranks that Walter would pull was um, saran wrapping everything in the kitchen. <laughs> God, dishes. no, no, no. The, the thing with Walter is Walter porn. Oh, yeah. Huh? Walter. Walter didn't look at porn to get off. He wanted to see the most interesting, fucked up shit that there was and <laughs> show it to everybody else. 
So we're sitting there and he goes, oh, I have to show you. Runs and gets his laptop. And I mean literally like bolts through the house to get his laptop. Bolts back to get his laptop. Come here. Come here. You have to see this. Because this way you are pinned and you can't move. <laughs> Got the lockdown. All right. Okay. Opens it up. And there's a guy that puts, they're in a pool. Takes the, the, the snorkel goggles from off of his head. Mm -hmm. Puts them over his dick. And has goggle sex with the girl. And he's like, look at that! Isn't that fucked up? Well, let's let's see this again. Hold on, I can slow it down. It's awesome. Look, look at this. That has to hurt like a bitch. Look at how it's hitting his nuts. We're going, Walter. Walter. Walter, I don't care, Walter. Walter. Or there was a black guy that was fucking huge and this tiny little Asian girl, and he's like, that must hurt. Look at this! Look at her face! That's not fake! That hurts! How about what? the one where the, the Russian girl had that the, bar put through her labia? Yes. There was oh, no God, sex was... in this porn. It was just people getting tortured. Ah, uh, okay. So it was the the extreme sex where they would put, like, the, the 20 gauge, or the, yeah, the 20 gauge needles through her labia. Yeah, that, and he's like, crazy. look at this fucked up Russian shit! Look at those Russians are fucked up! Shut up, Polak. Watch it, Walter. <laughs> you guys are really fucked up! Let's watch this again, so much. Let's, wa let's watch this again! How many times did you make us watch that? I don't know, but every time we had a new person, he felt the need to show them, along with everybody else. I'm not sure I want to meet him now. Oh, Walter's great. He's a great person. He's just pretty fucked up. I mean, William and I used to play a game kind of similar to that, but it was... <laughs> Hey, dude, check this out. Because I didn't want to... We didn't, I mean, it's not right to torture the person, but quite frankly, it's okay to go sneak onto their computer and put, like, a scat video or something there on the desktop background when they're not looking. I mean, okay. I, there's nothing wrong with that. God, you remember Pixel? Yeah. That's a pretty big... That's a Wasp or something. No, it looks like a beetle. Well, it's a sleeping Where did they fucking go? The other side of the planet? Right there. Speak one. It's on the inside planet. Hello, Steve Apparently, Brandon and William. They're not in a Walmart. Oh, yeah. Do you remember when we went to Kmart? Yeah. Brandon is in Walmart without somebody. Actually, he's got William with him. So, William has many of the needed skills. Like a cattle crop? Well, actually, no. William's with a stranger. He's playing nice. So, we're fucked. Yeah, yeah. He won't have vaccine until the Walmart closes, at least. <laughs> Luckily, it's not 24 hour Walmart. Otherwise, we'd be completely screwed. Because if it was me, William would say, we need to leave. Yeah. Of course, William has also become the social butterfly, very much like all day today. So, he may have found a new toy. In social which case, interaction? Hmm? social interaction. Absolutely. He went from he went from introvert to social butterfly, and he was talking to everybody. Really? Yes. Yeah, he was. I told him to stop being afraid and I saw him go get out and talk to people. And he did. Good job. You realize this is the uh, kid who, because he was told he was not allowed to get in a fight, has walked away from things like being shanked or hit a wall as an example for while breaking two bones in his hand and cracking the wall. Hmm. I wouldn't believe the wall crack except he showed it to me at graduation and I heard other people talking about it. My dad's I'm laughing, Dave. You maxed your quota out last night. <laughs> Is this bothering you? Would you like me to... No, no, it's a nasal drip thing. Don't close it. Just ventilation.